Hey, yo, peace. What's up, y'all? This your big brother, your big homie, Big Mike, checking in, Real Talk TV. Hope you guys are having a blessed day, and thank y'all for watching the video. I appreciate it. To my subscribers, man, I love you guys so much, man. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for liking the videos, for leaving comments. Let me know how much y'all appreciate the videos. I couldn't have done this without you guys. And like I say all the time, there's no me without you. You know what I'm saying? You guys take time out of y'all day to watch my videos. Thank you. I mean that. Thank you. And if you're not subbed to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell icon, like button, hit me up in the comments, and also share the video, okay? But yeah, um, oh yeah, lastly, if you wish to support the channel via memberships or donations, the description for that is also down below. Your donations help fund the giveaways I'm looking to do once I reach 5,000 subs, and also helps the channel grow. So if you look to support in that way, down below, description um, down below, okay? Anyway, let's get into the topic, guys. I want to talk to you guys about a video I saw on YouTube several months back. And for some reason, it popped up in my head uh, not long ago. I'm thinking that would be an interesting topic to talk about, right? So the video, it was from a pastor whose name I will leave anonymous right now. His sermon was based on Christians owning firearms. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, this sounds like something I could definitely uh, take heed to and listen to. He, he seemingly was leaning more towards Christians not owning guns. And I couldn't understand why. Like, why is it an issue for a Christian to own a firearm? Because firearms by themselves are harmless. It's the person operating the gun who who's the threat. It's not the gun. It's the person behind the gun. And you don't need a gun to kill anybody. I mean, let's be real here. People have been killing a long time before guns have ever been created. Look at Cain and Abel. Cain killed his brother without a gun. A lot of people in this world have been murdered without guns. And if you really want to do something to someone, you don't need a gun for that. You do not need a gun to kill somebody if you really want to do it. It's in the heart. Sin and murder is in the heart. It's not in the gun. A gun will lay there until someone picks it up to do whatever it is they want to do with it. It will not move. It has no life. A gun cannot come to life and just kill everybody without an operator. Just like a knife on the kitchen counter cannot be used as a weapon until, until someone picks it up to do harm to someone else. A brick, a hammer, an axe, same thing. It's about who's behind it. It has nothing to do with the weapon. And to think that you got so many people in this world who will think nothing of it to take your life or the life of your family, you know, just because they're on one that day. And you mean to tell me it's unlawful for a Christian to own a gun? My humble opinion, I just don't believe that. I just don't. If you disagree, please hit me up in the comment section and tell me why you disagree. Because I would like to know. I would like to learn from other people too. But my humble opinion, I don't see nothing wrong with owning a gun. Because like I said, it's in your heart. Whatever you look to do you know, to someone else, that's in your heart. And you mean to tell me that if someone breaks in your house to harm you or your family, God forbid. That it's unlawful for you to use that gun to protect your family or protect yourself? I don't agree with that. Look at the biblical days. People back then owned swords. But you don't see anybody around here these days walking around with a sword. <laughs> I mean, that's not the weapon of choice anymore. The weapon of choice now is a gun. I've owned guns, I still own guns. I've not one time had it in my heart to do anything to anybody just because I was mad or anything like that. I never had it in my heart to take anything by force from anybody with a gun. I've never had that in my heart. And I've carried guns many years. It's only to defend my life and the life of my family if I have to. That's it, self-defense. And when I look at self-defense, right, I look at all the animals, I look at nature, all the animals that God put here to have defense mechanisms as a means to defend themselves. He gave cats claws, dogs teeth, lions teeth and claws, freaking porcupines, you know, the spikes that they shoot out their butt, skunks, the horrendous spray that they got coming out their butt to deter a predator. You mean to tell me that a Christian should not own a gun? I just don't believe that. I just don't believe it. Like I said, that gun will remain, it will remain in your case or in your safe until you take it to do whatever it is you need to do with it until you put it to use. So Christian owning a gun in itself 
in my humble opinion, is not sinful. It's what's in your heart that's sinful. God knows your actions. He also knows why you do what you do. He also knows the why into you, why you did something. And I'm, I'm a humble believer that God knows my heart. So if I use that gun to defend myself or my family, to me, that's not sin. In my humble opinion, it was self-defense as I have a right to defend myself or my family. It's not to inflict harm on anybody for a, a foolish reason. It's not to kill anybody because it made me mad or to rob anybody and nothing like that. It's only to defend my life and the life of the people I love. That's it. You know, so that notion that Christians should not own guns, I don't believe that. I mean, look at that, look at that church shooting that happened some years ago in Texas where some guy just went off and started shooting people at, at you know, in the church, in the church. And luckily for them, it was a church member in that church who was armed that neutralized the threat within a few seconds. Now, what if that guy didn't have a gun? That assailant would have killed everybody in that church, most likely. So it's not owning the weapon. It's what's in your heart and what you're going to do with that weapon. And I say, you don't need a gun to kill anybody. You can do that with your bare hands. You can do that with a knife. You can do that with an ax, a brick, a freaking hammer, whatever. You don't need a gun for that. You know, so Christians owning guns, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Um, I will never stop owning a gun. That's just my belief. I believe in God, but at the same time, I'm very aware of the world that we live in. This world has people that do not believe in God. No offense if that's you watching this video. I'm not saying you a killer. <laughs> so no offense to you. But I'm, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is people in this world who don't believe, who have no, who have no regard for God or for human life live in this world. So, yeah, I'm not gonna be a sitting duck if I can help it, man. I'm gonna own a gun to the day I die, and that's just what it is. But <laughs> anyway, that's all I got on the topic, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Don't, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, hit me up in the comments, man. If you disagree, please tell me why you disagree. Don't just say I disagree, tell me why. Let's have a discussion. I don't mind people disagreeing with what I say sometimes. I'm totally open to that. But yeah. But uh, that's all I got in the video, man. Again, this is your big homie, Big Mike, checking out. You guys have a good evening. Be blessed, man. Peace.